In this lesson, we're going to look at uh, another example involving order of operations. Um, now, the reason I want to do this one is because, um, especially if you haven't done an order of operations problem in a while, it's easy to get deceived um, as to what to do first. Uh, we know that we're supposed to do parentheses first, but for some reason, um, our eyes are kind of immediately drawn to the 5 ninths minus 4 fifths just because it comes first. But remember, that subtraction that's happening between those, and we have parentheses involved, and we also have multiplication involved, both of which come before subtraction. So the first place we should go is this 5 eighths minus 5 twelfths. Let me rewrite this problem so we have a little more room to work here. So since I need to subtract 5 eighths and 5 twelfths first, let's find a least common denominator. And so between 8 and 12 being our denominators, the least common multiple of those is 24. So our least common denominator is 24. So that means I need to multiply the top and bottom of 5 eighths by 3 to make that happen, and the top and bottom of 5 twelves by 2 to make that happen. So again, with all these order of operations problems, rewrite everything that you haven't changed so that you don't lose track of where you're at in the problem. Okay, and now of course we can subtract, so we have 5 ninths minus 4 fifths times 5 twenty fourths. And so now that we've taken care of the parentheses, we know multiplication comes next. And so we, of course, pre-reduce. We don't just multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. Not until after we do any pre-reducing that's possible. So, of course, I can divide by 5 on top and bottom. And I can divide by 4 on top and bottom. So this ends up cleaning up to... 5 ninths minus 1 sixth. And then we just need to find a least common denominator for 9 and 6. Now 6 does not go into 9 evenly, so we try the next multiple of 9, which is 18. 6 does go into 18 evenly, so that means our LCD is 18. So I need to multiply 9 by 2 to make 18, so I do that to the top and bottom of 5 ninths. Multiply 6 by 3, so I multiply 3 on the top and bottom of 1 sixth. And now we end up with 10 eighteenths minus 3 eighteenths. 10 minus 3 is 7, so the answer is 7 eighteenths. 7 and 18 do not share a common factor, so this is our reduced answer.